what is going on everybody it is ya boy Sterk back again that's horrible i need to stop doing that um okay what it's time to do more star wars we're gonna go i'm gonna save actually i'm gonna go i'm gonna take out these mandalorians concussion grenade what and Karthi Poo's gonna go over here. Master Power Blast him. Come on. Do it. What? This is going great, I think. I hurt a bit. Awesome. Bop. Oh, he's, he's so like dumb. That? Oh my god, wow. What? Alright. So that is two groups of Mandalorians down. I believe, if I recall, you fight three of them. You fight three groups of Mandalorians, and then you fight their leader. And then the Mandalorians, Mandalorians are done. Um, the Mandalorian leader is scary, <laughs> uh, to put it bluntly. Um, if I remember, just over here to the right, Give me a sec. Hold on. I need to heal up just a little bit more. Okay. Oh, Cathound. Eh, we can... Well, well, might as well. Down you go! Down you go. Alright. There's the grove right there. And there's our target. Let's check it out. Will be your doom. Yep. It's Mario time. Start with a flurry, and do a critical strike, then a power attack. Well, for, hold on. First, I'm gonna actually activate an energy shield. Here we go. Start with a flurry. Critical strike. Power attack. Critical strike. Then a flurry. I actually can't use force for because I'm wearing armor. Boom! You... You are strong. Stronger than me, even in my darkness. Why did you attack me? I am Juhani, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. You embrace the dark side? Why? When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. You slew Quatra, your master? Yes. I struck her down in the middle of training, consumed by my anger, embracing the power of hate. But it was not enough. <sighs> what is it you want? Why do you bother me? I just want to talk. Talk? You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? I do not believe it. Kill me now while you still have the power. I have no desire to kill you, though. Lies. Leave me. Okay, well, that's fine. I guess I'll just I'll loot some stuff. Mandalorian melee shield. Ready. I can't walk, so Karth is going to have to loot this one, you know. I think that's all of them. All right, let's just let's yes? keep let's keep negotiating with Crazy Cat Lady. She's not crazy. She's oh, accidentally yes, talked to Karth. Her? Not right now, Karthy Poo. What? I just want to talk. Talk. I don't hold anger towards you, Johnny. I wish you peace. Not anger, peace. Yet even with your naive attitude, you managed to beat me. I am pathetic. I sit here and think myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back, or jealous of my power. But this is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. Why are you even thinking like that? Why? Because I am right, that's why. I can see the truth in your eyes as well. Do not look at me again. <sighs> I'm looking at you. Just want to talk, dude. No I, anger. I, Standards can't apply to everyone. What? Oh, what foolishness is this? It's true. And if I cannot measure up to them, what leave me? No, I... 
Just want to talk. No <laughs> anger. The first step on the path of true knowledge is knowing that I you're think ignorant. I still have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. Even in death, the Force will allow her to live on. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So She's not a I bad person. She's for. just angry. How can the Council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. <laughs> Your master surely won't be forgiving you. Show them, uh, yet forgiveness must be asked. And denied. Leave me. No! I'm almost, I almost have it. Your inner peace and harmony will show them your sincerity. I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. And that's Juhani, everybody. Clap, 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 clap. All right. Let's fill in this little dip on my map. Okay, cool. So there goes, there goes Juhani. Um, that is, that's Juhani. And now we've, now we've pretty much filled in the entire map here. Um, let's go down, let's go south. Let's go down to the uh, Sandral Grounds. Super quick. Oh, there's remains. Huh. Neat. Oh, a Vibro Double Blade and an Ariadu Strength Amplifier. Strength plus two. Wow. Let's use Mandalorian Melee Shield. And an Energy Shield. Have them both. Give you a melee shield too. You don't get one though. Yes. Right. Awesome. Nice. Let's go down this way. Cause I want to. What's this? There's the droid. Found him. Got him. Disengage. Disengage. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, here's the droid. Thank you for saving me, Master Jedi. I am CA42, a personal assistant droid. I'm not a Jedi Master yet. Ah, uh, yes. I apologize for my incorrect terminology. Even though As it's I really said, not. I am CA42, a personal assistant droid. Although in recent months, the assistance I render seems to have taken on a disproportionate significance. Are you Elisa's droid? Did she send you to find me? Please do not tell her you saw me. Weren't you kidnapped? No, I ran away of my own free will. But I have my reasons. I'm afraid my owner became a bit too attached to me. Obsessed, even. She, she tried to treat me as her dead husband. It was not healthy for her. All the time? You don't want to know. Gross. She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. What, are you suicidal or something? I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people, living people. Please, will you destroy me? I'll destroy her and tell her why you did it. Thank you, kind sir. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. Okay. Cool. <laughs> and that's the droid. And then here's the here's the um crystal cave that I'm going to delve into. It's really dark. Let's make it bright in here. There's Kinrath in here, which are weird spider thingies. And they're really gross. They're like really gross. Yeah, look at how gross these things are. Ew, ew, gross, ew. You know, like ew. I don't know why. Like, I'm an arachnophobe, oh, right? These things should freak me out, but they don't. And I don't know why. Maybe it's because they're kind of not really spiders. They only have like five legs. And then one of them is almost like a nose. You know what I mean? Like, look at it. 
poison it is annoying. I'm gonna just throw a grenade straight. Party member. Now. Nope. You asked for this. This is gonna go fine. Damn. Okay. Right. has been poisoned. How'd you like? Yeah, yeah. get deaded. What? Okay. Well, it's a good thing that I can level up. Level up skills. Let's put one under persuade. Haven't done that in a while. Powers. Let me throw a lightsaber. A classic. So basically now we go around the cave. We break all the eggies. Where was it? Oh god. Take it. Dead, please. Okay. And then we can go around to the crystal formations and we just get a bunch of lightsaber crystals, really. Um Basically, it's a short little mini dungeon. This whole area is 100% optional. But you just get a bunch of lightsaber crystals for free. Which is really nice. There are just so many. And I think my, one of my favorite parts is that they straight up just sort of... They talk about this area like, uh... What was it? Jar literally talks about it. He's like, yeah, you know, there might be some crystal caves on Dantooine, but uh, we don't really know for sure when there are. There, there just are. So it's really fun to go through. And then you can find some of the eggs, too. I think that's all of them. There are the Mandalorians. Take Look at that, that. dead. Time to rumble. Oh, oh Karth missed both. That doesn't happen very often. You'll never get me. I like how Karth runs all the way up to him to shoot him. Down you nice. Go. Down you go sure. indeed. So we got some remains. Equipment pack. Metal case. Foot locker. A lot of stuff. A lot of mines over here. Plasma mines. Metal box. Some more. And then both of the Mandalorians have remains. Adrenaline amplifier. Mandalorian data pads, stabilizer gauntlets, repair kit. All right. Here we go. The albino cat hound. Like a normal cat hound, only albino. Oh jeez, uh -huh. I wasn't even looking at the health at all. <laughs> Whoops. Sure. Alright, well, awesome. <laughs> Just dying, don't mind me. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna return to the Ebon Hawk. It's gonna go all the way back, refills our health, mission seems distant, let's hey talk there. to her. What can I do for you? I want to talk about your brother. I'm sorry for the way I acted before. It's just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get a little worked up. Why do you hate her so much? My brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace, but we got by okay until Lena came and ruined everything. She was a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth talker, and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena was used to dating rich Theresian nobles. Guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. You mean no matter... No, um, did Lena dump him? I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. Maybe she actually liked Griff. 
I saw Lena for what she really was, a busty, credit-grubbing cantina rat. She used Griff and took away the only family I had. After they'd been together for a few months, Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were gonna try and make their fortune off-world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get yeah. me, and we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went. Tusk, tusk. Maybe something happened to him. Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff butt good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget all about me. I know I'll probably never see Griff again. But part of the reason I came with you was the hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Okay. And that's where Mission's Quest ends until it starts again. Yes, what's any Does Karth want to talk about anything? No, he doesn't. So here's what we're going to do. We're actually just going to... Now that we're done with Mission's Quest, we're going to put Candrus on our team. So here we have Candrus, a strong boy. Yes? Good. Jedi. Enjoy the time you have here on Dantooine. <laughs> I think the Council might decide to move to a different world soon. Hopefully. You have done well, my pupil. The ancient grove has been purified, and Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training, and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Juhani has been redeemed, yeah. and you have passed your final test. Yeah. Congratulations, Apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our order. Yay! Yay, I got items. It's a Jedi robe. Yay! Yay! And then I got, um, crystals here. So a Bonner crystal will make it stun. And a Rubek crystal is just going to make it stronger. Just literally stronger. So I like being able to stun. Yeah, on a 25% chance to stun for 6 seconds, which is really good. Um, now the lightsaber does 7 to 21 damage, which is, again, pretty good. Let's go over here and talk to the council again. That's what I think I have to do. Right? Right? Is it Vrook? I must congratulate you on your actions. You have saved Johanny and brought her back into the Order and have given us all great hope for your future success. May the Force be with you as you continue your training. See, everyone hates Rook, but I like Rook. It is good to see Johnny has re Your training is now complete. Yeah. Adam. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Oh no. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. Oh no. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping okay. Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. All right. The way... So we'll bring Vasila and we'll bring we'll bring Candrus. I demand justice. <laughs> the central family is a blight <laughs> upon Dantooine. They must be He just punished. walks in and starts screaming. The council will look into this matter, Mr. Matale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof, and we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing. How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I 
I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat oh, to my sword. and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other yep. responsibilities. That is my sword. The Council has promised, Alan Matali, we will look into a son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. I shall look into it at once. If Shen Matali has not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral Estates. We must not allow that to happen. Your study and training are important, yeah. of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in our real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. Yeah. It task has its own importance. It may also serve to divert our minds for a short time. Something which carries its own rewards. Yeah! I'm a Jedi, I'm a Jedi! Woo woo woo! There's Juhani. And Balea, Balea too. I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Here's Order. the twist. I, I have spoken, spoken to, the to the Council. The twist. And they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first Boom. believed. Boom! I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such not as dead. she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. Yep. So where's Quatra now? After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide, you, back to the light. When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy, and she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. Boom. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training, though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. Giving you a second chance like this is a clear sign of weakness. <laughs> Sometimes I find it hard to believe the Jedi could defeat my people in battle. This has been a painful lesson, Johan, <laughs> but it seems you have learned it well. I am certain you will be a credit to the Order. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. Boom. Top tier. There we go. Yeah, what are you... Kandris has interesting stories. You want to hear tales of my exploits? These lead into his Of the his wars I've seen quest. and fought, the enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. My name's Kandris, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, yep. gain renown, and make our fortunes. Is that why the Mandalorians attacked the Republic? The Sith came to us with an offer. To fight a worthy enemy in a battle that would be remembered forever. Win or lose, as long as the fight is worthy, then honor is gained. The glory at having triumph over impossible odds is what drives us. If there's nothing at stake, your possessions, your life, your world, then the battle's meaningless. We Mandalore take everything we are and throw it into battle. It's the true test of yourself. The battle against death. Against oblivion. You s is that why you work as a mercenary? Times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline. And the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were are a threat. But the galaxy still fears us. <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Boom. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. When I think of the battles I've fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned, I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. Boom! Candrus is edgy. 
Kendris is really edgy. Is Alan Matali still here? Because if so, I think this is where I'm supposed to talk to him. Bop! No, he's gone. Whatever. Bastila, shut your lightsaber. You little rascal. Sure. Alright, that, that might reset it. Alright. Okay. So our quest log. Sandra Matali feud. Basically, what we need to do is we need to go to the Sandals and Matalis. Well, I need to talk to the Matalis. Um and investigate the ruins. And then I have I only have to fight the leader of the Mandalorians now. And that's it. Now we're good. Then we're golden. Then we're Gucci. Courtyard, who am I waiting on? Candrus. Where's that rascal? What? What? Yes? Alright. All right, team, let's start by telling this lady her droid's dead. My droid is still missing. No, it's dead. I can feel him like a hole in my aching heart. I'm afraid your droid had to be destroyed. My droid? Destroyed? No. No, this cannot be happening. I can't bear to live without him. Okay, well. Don't know where she's going. So now... We need to hunt down that last group of Mandalorians. I can never remember exactly where they are, but I know I want to do that quest before I go to the ruins. Awesome. Dead Settler. This is important. Cardiff package, package of Chani Light Army of Ribbon Hemben in Cassis's Diary. Journal entry added. Sandra Matali feud. Wait, uh, Dead Settler. You found the body of Cassus Sandral. The journey you found on the body tells you tells that he was an amateur archaeologist who was investigating strange ruins across Dantooine. By the wounds on his body, it was seen like he was mauled to death by cat hounds. Come on. There we go. Now I'm gonna heal up before I go over there. Because Yes. Honest to goodness, I've what? never done a, a playthrough of Knights of the Old Republic where I wear robes. Like, that's not something I've ever done. So here we go. Horse aura. And then I'm gonna go... I'm actually in an energy shield, too. And then I'm gonna go in. Ah, so this is the meddler. You have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. Now this is what I've been waiting for. I will yeah. add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. So basically, my lightsaber is going... It's Shiru, His name's Sharuk. My lightsaber will make a fine addition to his collection. Is basically what it boils down to. Um, use a cryoban grenade. Then I'm actually going to have Bastila stasis that guy. We're going in. What can I do? Nope. Shrook is attacking with his, his fists. Nope. There's the lightsaber. Here it is. Spaces. Oh, jeez, Louise. Yeah. Basil is dead. I'm also going to go. I'm going to switch to... Or I'm going to try any... Nope. No. Awesome. It's going great, guys. On the bright side. Oh my god, he just healed. So I think the strategy here is to actually fight... Uh... The, the guys in the back first, you know? Start yes. out using Force Aura, and then Energy Resistance, and then also Force Valor. Sure. Then we're gonna go in. Ah, uh, so... Here we go. Oh. Alright, this is going great. This is going great. Here's the plan. Get the shock stick out. Get him, Candrus. Candrus, what are you doing? <laughs> Get him with the shock stick. 
Come on. All right, here's here's the real strat. Here's the real strat. Literally. What can I do? Literally, we've been doing it wrong the whole yeah. time. Yeah. I'm here. The one thing we keep forgetting to do is we're not using our actual energy shields. So here's the plan. No, fuck. Can we actually take care of all the ads first? Whoa, hold on. Candace, you're not doing too hot. Hurt, I bet. I hurt, I bet. Usable items. Another med pack, just to stave off death for one more round, really. Yep, what? party member down. Saw that coming. The troop's gonna save, which is okay. You're dead. I mean, he's not gonna save, he's gonna heal as well. Stop healing, oh my god! You buffoon. Here we go. This is gonna go fine. I'm just gonna use a bunch of healing items now. Oh, Sharuk, you rascal. Stop healing, too! Ouch. This isn't going great, but it's not going poorly either. Flash mine! Get him! Oh, this is getting fun. <laughs> this isn't going well. Sure. Here we go. We're almost done. This is gonna be the best. Alright, ready? Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, Sharuk, you little healing person. Okay. We deserve to die after this run. That sucks. No, just keep missing. I will too, don't worry. Ah! But that one worked. That one worked. That one was in the process sure. of working. What? Vasla needs to use another med pack. Come on, where are they? We need to go to show usable. There we go. Oh, come on. What? Oh, wow, that was a big hit. <laughs> Oh, Sharuk. No, Sharuk. No. You're not allowed. How do you even have this many healing items? Oh my god. Stop healing, please. I only- I just stunned myself. It was a last ditch effort to really try. Die. Wow, I'm really stunned for a long time. Here I was thinking like I'd I'd be up yeah. in time for That'll show you. Ow. Here's what we need to do. Now, here we go. Fire double blade. Let's just go. 
Just candorous him. Ow. I'm just doing no damage to him. And it just keeps missing. Ooh. What? Boy needs to use the advanced med pack already, which is okay. Yes. This is what I okay, know. this is going for it. This one's starting off going bad. Yeah. Just killing Candrus. What can I do? I will win. Yeah. The force fights with me. You shall fall. Let's have another med pack. I'm actually gonna. Pop a frag Didn't work. What? What do you mean didn't work? <laughs> oh, jeez, Louise. Candrus, literally, I just want you to... Light Sharuka. Just light him up. So this is how the main character dies. With Mandalorian. I'm almost wondering if, like, the normal attacks are just the better option. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And that's the last med pack, everybody. Yep. Here's here's my number one plan. We just we don't do this right now. We come back at a later time. There's another. So, Bastila, oh. I heard a rumor that the Vulcars captured you without much of a struggle. <laughs> it must be embarrassing to be bested by a handful of street thugs. There were extenuating circumstances, and I can assure you, it took far more than a handful of Vulcars to subdue me. Yeah, I'm sure there were 20 of them. I mean, 50. No, wait, 100. Whatever you say. All I know is that if we had more Jedi like Bastila fighting against us in the Mandalorian Wars, my side might not have lost. Bold talk from a broken down mercenary who is serving at Davik's heel. I'd call you his pet cat hound, but they have enough loyalty not to turn on their masters. Insults? Maybe if your master had trained your lightsaber to be as quick as your tongue, you could have escaped those Vulcars, you spoiled little Jedi princess. I was not spoiled. I was given the same training as everyone else in the Order. You are nothing but a... No, I must not do this. There is no emotion, no peace. <laughs> That's the problem with you, Jedi. Always chanting about peace and control. Never up for a good fight. Well, except for Revan, I guess. Enough, Mandalorian. I won't rise to your bait anymore. The game is over. Let us continue on with what we were doing. I forgot. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm bringing along the two people. On our on the whole party that are like the most at each other's throats. Candrus gets it along with like no one in the party, and I think that's one of my favorite parts about him as a character. Let's let's start the Sandra Matali quest after being killed like twenty times in a row. This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? You have come um, from the Jedi yeah, Council. Yeah, the Jedi Council. Master Matali wishes to speak with you. I will inform him that you are here. Remain at this location until he arrives. A lot of droids, a lot of droids. Okay. My protocol droid tells me you are here on behalf of the Council. I was beginning to think my demands had been ignored. Though I think your time would then be better spent demands, interrogating idiot. the Sandrils as to the whereabouts of my son Shen. 
Proof? How dare you talk to me about proof? I have more than enough to satisfy any reasonable person. Many years ago, I brought my family mm -hmm. here to Dantooine to escape the crush of humanity on the core worlds. Soon after we settled here, the Sandrals arrived, and they have been a plague upon my house ever since. The injustices the Sandrals have committed against... Ah! My game is minimized. The Matales are far too numerous to name, but the Council is well aware of our many disputes. Recently, I discovered several Sandral droids trespassing on my land. What happened to the droids? My own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not a single one survived. At least you're efficient. It was shortly after this incident that Shen, my only son and heir to the Metali estate, vanished. Obviously, Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son in retaliation for the destruction of his droids. I shall go speak to Nurik Sandral. The only resolution possible is the immediate return of my son. Why does the council insist on stalling? The life of my son is at stake. Is it possible? Yes, of course. Now I understand. I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things are done. I will make a contribution of a thousand credits to the council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the Sandrals. I will present the credits directly to you, of course. Whether the council ever learns of this donation is completely up to you. Mm, I like money. Jedi can't be Nevertheless, bought. my offer still stands. A thousand credits for Shen's safe return. Eventually, whatever. I will take whatever action is necessary. Until you find Shen, Jedi, we have nothing further to discuss. I suggest you hurry south to their estate, lest I take matters into my own hands. <sighs> okay, here we go. Let's go south. Woo! Oh, wait, there's no way out over here. There's... Okay, I'll go this way. Here we are. The Sandal Grounds. What are these rascal sandals up to? They certainly seem less militant than the Metalis. This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? Come on behalf of the Jedi Council. The Council? If you are here because of Shen Metalis' disappearance, you are wasting your time. The Sandals are not involved. This is nothing but a Matale witch hunt. Not like with the Matales, but I must speak to Nurek. Nurek left orders he was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances, I will make an exception. Go into the main hall. Nurek will meet with you there. Awesome! I have been informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. Your son Cassus is dead. I've seen his body. Cassus is dead? I was afraid of this. Yet in my heart, I knew it must be true. What... what happened to my son? He was killed by Cathounds while exploring the Dantuin Rose. Cathounds? I... I was so certain the Metali family was to blame. But this changes nothing. My own son is dead. Why should I shed one tear about the disappearance of my bitter enemy's son? Typical. Anything to continue the feud which has become so customary to you people. I must ask you something, though it is difficult for me. My son had a diary, his private personal thoughts. Now that he is gone, I have nothing else to remember him by. Please, the diary means more to me than it ever could to you. I will give you a hundred credits for its return. Ah, uh, here's a diary. I thank you for this. The diary is all I have left of my son. We have nothing further to discuss. Please, leave me to my grief. Wait. Wait. No, I need to talk to you about something else, too. It's... Okay, here comes Rahasia. You are here from the Council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? Do you know something about Shen's disappearance? My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief, and he is convinced the Metales are responsible. He's not thinking rationally. Cassus was killed by Cathounds, and had nothing to do with it. Cassus is dead? It is as I feared. Though I'm relieved the Metales are not responsible. My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. Well, he's he dead now, so it doesn't children, matter. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. Well, I'm going to find Shen. 
You must understand that father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. Please tell me what's happened. My father has kidnapped Shen Matale. Yep. He is holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Matales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Matales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. I must tell the Council. The Jedi Council does not have the authority to search our estate, and if father finds out his secret has been revealed, he might kill Shen right away. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. What's the problem between your families? Alan Matale and my father have had problems ever since they settled on this world. To hear my father tell it, Alan is a brute and a bully, but a rich one. He feels his credits give him the right to step all over normal people. My father stands up to Alan because no one else will. But now he thinks Alan has taken my brother Cassus and has imprisoned Shen as revenge. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. All right, let's do that. Okay. I'm gonna fill in this. I'm just gonna fill in the map. I'm just gonna. Oh, okay, you're in the way. Oh, now you're all in the what way. So I, I have to be Bastila. I'm already Bastila. Let me leave. Huh? <laughs> Let me leave. Here we go. Nice. Oh my god. Is there another one? It's a very precarious position for one of those. To cover this mine. Ouch. Andrews, please stop running at them. What? Awesome. That's uh, computer spike. North hallway. No, that's okay. Security computer room. I do not want to overload that terminal. Repair room. I'll overload that. Terminal. Might as well. Uh, storage room. Yeah, I'll overload that one as well. Why not? Things now. Parts. All right. Here we go. No problem. Didn't work. No, no problem. Didn't. It's a good thing I have a lightsaber. And lightsabers can cut through just about everything. Ouch! This no is somebody's problem. house. This is a house. There's Shen. Who are you? What do you want with me? Are you working for my father? I'm here to rescue you. Rescue me? No. I won't leave. It's too dangerous. I'll protect it's you. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. We know. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will yeah. accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandra doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. Why do you care? I was taught to hate the Sandrals. They're in love, that's why. evil and subhuman. But from the moment I saw Rahasia one day in the city, I knew that my father was wrong. She was like an angel. Yep. All white silks and perfume, seeming to float above the crowds. I don't know what else I could have done but fall in love with her. For months I wooed her and tried to win her heart. I believe I have succeeded, but now this has happened. Our families are always coming between us one way or another. Please find her and convince her to run away with me. 
Okay. Whatever you say, sweetheart. What's in this room? Oh, wait, that's the main entrance. Wow, they kept him really close to the main entrance. I can't help but feel like that's a really bad move for someone that you're keeping, like, hostage. And then Rahage is in here, right? Yep. What are you doing here? Have you found Shen yet? He won't leave without you. Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't I've risk killed it. all of I know them. No, Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. Okay. Nope. Basila just clipped out of existence. Nope. Nope. Never mind. She's back in the same spot. Foot locker. You're back. Have you spoken to Rahasia? She promised she'd meet I us outside the she's gates. She's not just telling me what I want to hear. But okay. Shen. You're safe. Rahasia. Well, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to That's get this me, far at all. That's me, kind Jedi. I 99. thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. There was no problem. No, we know that you must have gone to great personal risk to get us out of the Sandral state undetected. No rewards necessary. But surely we can... And there he is. The Ruiner of Fun. Along with the other Ruiner of Fun. There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahesha! Father! Mr. Sandril! Nurik! Alan! I knew this was all your doing! Stirk! Knew you had That's captured me. my son! You had taken my Cassus from me long before that! You started it! I don't want to hear any of your excuses! Now I will get revenge for your transgressions! Do you need to calm down? Please listen to him, Father! Why should I listen to the Jedi? All you want is to remain with that sandral harlot. My daughter is not a harlot, Matale dog. How'd you try listening to Our your children? Our children don't know enough of what's good for them to make a reasonable decision. It's better to let older, wiser heads like ours make the decisions. Rahage and I don't want you to make decisions for us. We want to live alone away from you. You, you insolent boy. If you want to live alone, then so be it. I disown you. Never set foot in my house again. Go with Shen Rahesha. Rahesha, you will not leave with this, this Matale boy. I am, father, and you can't stop me. We're leaving for the Enclave. You foolish girl. Do not try to force them to return. You expect us to just let them leave? Droids, stop them. You will not turn your droids on my daughter. Droids, don't let them take Rahesha. We appear to be at an impasse then. And they got away. It is your fault, yep. Alan. You were always too violent for your own good. Me? You were the one who rushed <laughs> out here with war droids. You don't need to fight anymore. I will not rest until I have my Shen back. You just Council disowned him. Will hear you of literally the just you disowned Jedi. him. Indeed they shall. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's good enough. That's good enough. I can't make these two be friends, but I can make them not want to kill each other as much, I guess. All right. Yeah, what are you? Talk to about war stories. I was one of the best youth warriors in the clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Except Mandalore himself, of course. In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. And uh, what was your story? I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, yeah. linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me. My heart racing with fear of the coming battle. What happened next? The doors opened in front of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop bay, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. I love these stories so bad. You dropped from orbit riding a droid? The exhilaration, the euphoria I felt 
as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons, was unmatched. An 80-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. I want a basilisk. I'll never forget those times. But things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there Very something? much. All right. And then does Basil have anything to talk about? How can I help? I want to talk about that dream. It was less of a dream and more of a vision. A vision the two of us shared. But I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. Why we shared it? Are you wondering why we shared the vision? Or why we even received it in the first place? To the first, I can only repeat the answer that the Council gave us. Our fates are linked. And for two as strong as we are in the Force, that amounts to a near-physical bond. As to the second, I truly don't have an answer for you. The Force works as it will. And perhaps we should be grateful for what we've been given. But how are we linked? I, I don't know. Believe me. I certainly don't find the prospect of being joined to you enjoyable in any fashion. Well, thanks a lot. Please, forgive me. I did not mean to imply that you were repulsive in any sense of the word. That we shared something so personal is just not something I'm used to. I have another question. What Why did we dream of Malak and Revan? Perhaps because we desired to. Perhaps because they came to this planet and were strong enough in the Force to leave a, a trace. Isn't it a bit convenient to dream about our enemies? And what else should we dream about except that which is most important to our fate? We dreamed about Revan and Malak either because we were meant to or because we needed to. There is no other way to look at it. Not sure I like the idea of you being in my dreams. And are you so certain that it is not you in my dreams? Pretty certain, yes. I see. That is most likely vanity speaking, for I am not certain myself. Regardless, our fates are linked. The vision was no doubt meant for us both. What do you think they were doing? I had no idea. It was obviously important, however. That is why we must investigate this further. Do you think we'll receive more? With luck, we will. I would rather not rely on such visions to guide us. But when we have so little else to go on, and the galaxy hangs in the balance. All right. As you That's wish. It. Awesome. Okay. There's Pizak guy. There they are. No, what? Oh, wait, no, yeah, this is, um, Elise. I... I took the loss of my droid much too hard. I feel I must apologize. There's no need. But I must. I was much too attached to my droid. It was all that was left of my husband, you see. Maybe I thought that through the droid, my husband could live again, be with me still. I think we understand. Love can do strange things to anyone. But I went too far. I could not see what was missing in living a normal life. Fortunately, in my grief, I returned here and ran into Samt, an absolutely fascinating man. Yes, he does seem quite nice. Samt and I got to talking and, well, we have a lot in common. I think we'll be seeing more of each other. It's funny how things work out in the end. Maybe there is such a thing as fate, after all. But I think we should be going now. Yeah. We have so much more to talk about. I just wanted to thank you for what you've done for me and what you tried to do. Goodbye, and thank you. Yep, and there's Samt. There he goes. And then Shen and Raheja are... Oh, wait. They're supposed to... Oh, jeez, Louise. Hmm. Oh, well. I knew there was a couple here. I guess I, I, guess I got the wrong couple. So I'm going to end the episode here. Um, next episode, we are going to check out the ruins, and then we are going to... Uh, <laughs> go back and try to fight Sharuk again. One more time. Um, hopefully we... This last bit will give us enough to level up. Uh, and then we can level up one more time, go through and wipe them. So, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and bye-bye. <laughs>